case you haven't realised, she's a potty mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You'll see in the future vlogs. Well, you could edit that out. Yeah, but I'm not going to. Hey guys, we've reached a little milestone on our channel. So um, I'm going off to meet Brian in the countryside for a little Q&A. First time. Yeek. Right. We're just going to meet up here. Because I thought it would be, it would just be nice to meet out and about, and Brian was out riding with my uncle anyway. So I called him up and I said, "Right, let's meet. We'll have a Q and A. You have to be in it because that's the thing with Brian. He tries to hide." But yeah, I can't believe how much the channel's growing. Um, it's been so much fun, though. I mean, I, at first it was a little bit daunting, but now as I'm getting to know everybody and the community. It's just being so much fun and so many amazing people and just friendly and inclusive and encouraging, really. Anyway, so here, this wall here, there is a, a nunnery and they are walled in because they're not allowed to see public. Okay, now we turn here by the cross. Edge Mount. Bradfield. Oh, then we could sit on that bench there, actually. Oh, that would be perfect. Let's do that. Hey guys, this is where we've decided to do our Q&A session because it's just so stunning and we've got where we live and we've got our bikes in. It's a little bit windy so I'm going to have to get out the fuzzy mic. What's it called? A dead cat. <laughs> Hi and welcome to our first Q&A session ha -ha! because we have reached um, a little milestone but it's big for us 400 subscribers a little bit over now actually so thank you guys and welcome to our channel um, it means a lot to us and oh, I don't want to do that cheesy shit no. okay so this is Brian by the way hello <laughs> I've managed, mysterious man. I've managed to get him on camera. Oh, I keep rattling this. It's not good. Welcome right. to the smoky background. Yeah, so this is the most incredible view, guys. But there is a fire off that way. And the winds just change direction. So it's all blowing here. And you it's like a blanket of fog, unfortunately. Oh, well. Really annoying. Okay, so... Um, let's just have a little talk about the channel because you guys we're getting to know you on social media on Facebook and Instagram and um, and and indeed on our channel with the comments, but yeah. um, we haven't really spoken about anything re yet because <laughs> we're still so new. Um, so I thought I'd break it down to where we started, where we are now, and where we hope to go with the channel. Pause, car, and add in some Q and A kind of after that at the end so where we are at present so we started um a, a few weeks ago and we were very sporadic we were just learning so it was we came back from the tour nine weeks ago and then it was like a trailer video and then a week later it was the first, the first video and then a three-week break and then we finally got into a group so that's where we are now at the moment we're Sunday ish and Wednesday. Those are our days. It's Sunday. <laughs> well, it's true. That's true. It's Sunday today, and it's not. It's not going out until Monday. I think. No. So where we are now, the tour vlogs are going up. I'm learning to do solo vlogs, which is kind of scary and intimidating, but I'm having fun. But I really want some um, couple vlogs as well. So I'm trying to get Brian up and riding with me, but not ri just riding. I want some interaction. Yeah. And um, getting him involved in that way. It's just getting in front of the camera is uh, it's not easy, folks. <laughs> He's the behind-the-scenes guy. Face made for radio. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the future is, um, we're hoping three vlogs a week. Um, a, a travel vlog, a solo slash couple vlog, and then it'll be about um, a vlog about the equipment, the bikes, the riding, you know... Mm, not vlogging, yeah, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. So that's the plan. Um, and uh, for the future, 
in terms of traveling because we've had a lot of questions about what's next traveling and all yeah. that um virus dependent we have tons of plans so it's scotland which is the scotland's one. going to be a big tour um although that might be with your daughter yeah <laughs> well my daughter as well <laughs> so, our daughter our so daughter. uh <laughs> thanks dude so it'd be like a mother daughter tour which i'm excited about um, and then we're going to do a tour together as well up in yep. Scotland because there's a lot to see and we haven't really seen it. Um, we can go find the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> <laughs> also, other points of interest around the UK. I mean, we haven't done the Lake District. No. Um, we really want to go and explore Wales on our bikes. Just lots around the UK. Loads and loads. And I love history. So um, there's definitely points of interest that I like to travel to. Brian's more of a just randomly cruising kind of person, whereas I like to have a destination. It's the ride, not the destination. It is the ride. <laughs> so. I, I, like, I love the ride, but I like to have a destination. And I like to have food planned. Cause, um, You're a bit of a foodie. I get really grumpy. Oh, I get really grumpy without food. Okay, so, um, so that's the plan for the big travels. Then, if well, in this country... And then if we can get aboard, we obviously want to do a lot more of Europe, a lot more Northern Europe. Oh, anywhere. Do you know what? Anywhere in Europe. That's a biggie. Also, America is a big one for us because um, during lockdown, Brian, who's adopted, discovered that he has a full biological brother living in America. So we are definitely, definitely going over to America some as soon as we can, really. Yeah. Um, and then we've also got another big thing is um we intend to do some off-roading in south africa yeah the kalahari like we said you know everything is completely completely dependent on the virus and being able to fly places but what isn't hopefully is that we can do a load of local vlogs and things about the bikes and we do have so many many stunning roads areas places of interest in this area we are so lucky yeah. um so uh we intend to do that really and get to know you guys and you guys can get to know us right on to the q a as you can see we are newbies and we keep looking at our faces instead of the camera because um we're, we're just so keep looking <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's to make sure that the bikes are in the shot and the view uh, and we're looking at all of this and um Anyway, anyway, so we shall get better. Yes. So look at the camera, it's not there. at the faces. Camera, face, camera, face, camera, face. Okay. Right, okay. Q&A, what's Q &A. the first question? I'm going to get them. One second. So, okay, so first question we were given, have you ever ridden off-road? And this is a little bit complicated. It's a tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> the simple answer is No. But no, not yes. traditionally off-road, <laughs> but accidentally off-road. We've gone a few times. Um, that doesn't mean crash. That just means going on the wrong road and kind of enthusiastically pursuing that road in hope that it will turn... Into a normal road. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Up a mountain in Slovenia in particular. Yeah. So. Slovenia-Croatia border. We had a little bit of a... An, uh, an yeah. off-roading experience but with our plans to go to the Kalahari in South Africa we plan to do off-roading yeah. hopefully we can get some uh, off-roading bikes there On the adventure bikes or but, um, whatever they call them yeah I don't know which ones yeah. the KTM KTMs, ones yeah. so, officially no officially no unofficially yes. sort of <laughs> sort of our bikes aren't designed for off-roading <laughs> <laughs> so no okay next question um, have you ever ridden an adventure bike and or what bikes have you ridden and what bikes would you like to ride? Yeah. What bikes have I ridden? Oh, tons. Like... That one. That one and the bikes I learnt on at the tent test centre. Yeah. That's it. Um, you? I had a 50cc when I was 16 years of age. The Yamaha or Honda, I can't even remember. Um, I rode it. Yeah, it was a little one. So um, I rode a Fat Boy Harley down the road, uh, and uh, what else? The Forty Eight and Nice. Yeah. And then these two, and that's it. So. And that's because we've only just started riding again, haven't we? Or you've well, started riding again. Yeah. So between having the fifty cc and me getting this bike, I uh, it's been well over twenty years. 
I know I'm sitting in the right spot because it's numb. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm sitting on the on the top of a bench, <sighs> and um, some butts are not designed no, for uh, too big. narrow pieces of wood. Anyway, oh. so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely not designed for narrow pieces of wood. Oh, my dear. Oh, sun's out. <laughs> so, how old were you when you first learned to ride? It was last year. So, I was 40. So that was my 40th birthday present was my my girl and my lessons and the promise of many, many adventures, which started. Uh, oh, we've definitely started. You're following through with this one. Hmm. I'm very impressed. And uh, I didn't think I'd, I'd like biking and I'm absolutely obsessed. I love it. OK, so bear in mind, before our trip, yeah. the longest we've done is just ride around the area like it, it, an hour or two on the no a couple of hours At out most, on the bikes yeah. and that was it and then we're just like yeah do you know what let's go to Europe yeah. and we didn't even know how long we'd be able to be on the bikes we didn't know anything really we're complete newbies um but we're learning fast because we're on the bikes all the time <laughs> that's that se sexy view <laughs> wow look at that valley <laughs> That's not going in. That is. No, it that isn't. Is. Okay. The biggest questions were asked in general is um, how long we've been riding. So for me, a year. Well, less than a year. Well, I'm, I'm going to take my test stuff in, into account. A year. Okay. okay. Give me those few weeks. Okay. Um, how did, did we learn together? Well, we kind of did because Brian had to redo his license um, in the UK. Yeah. Because he's from South Africa. Um, which it's not a transferable license, so we had to redo that. So we did kind of do it together last year. Um, I just did it quicker. Wow, just show me the size of your dick, Brian. Go for it. I did it better. I did it quicker and bigger and better. Oh, that's... That's so good. <laughs> it's not. That's so good. Okay. Right, so we've also been asked um, about um, the name we came up with, which was Bunny King Hogs, and we were asked why... Why that name? So it came from the names that, that we gave our bikes. So Brian imaginatively called his king because his is a road king. Very creative. Very creative. And very original. Um, and I called my bunny because she looks like a Duracell battery. Um, so sort of like the Duracell bunny. <laughs> and hopefully she just goes and goes and goes and goes. So, um, And then uh, <laughs> I kind of... What? I was ready to go and go and go. <laughs> Um, so, so yeah, so I, I also really like the, um, <laughs> oh, I like now that. you see why he's not on camera very often. He's so annoying. Yeah. Carry on. Oops. And I kind of like the mix together. Like when you say bunnykins, it's like, um, a term of endearment, isn't it? So I, I just liked it cause I figured we'd be doing more couple vlogs and we're not. No. Yet. <laughs> Yet, yes. yet, 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 I shall okay. get you on there. So I hope Brian's editing skills will stand up to something and be able to scrape together some kind of vlog yeah, out of this. <laughs> um, I also need to learn to look into the camera. Yeah. It's, it's not easy. Thanks for joining us for our first Q&A. And um, hopefully some of you got some questions sort of answered. Uh, we shall improve. I hope there will be more milestones for us and mm. <laughs> you'll be lucky enough to get have to go through this again. Please like, subscribe, comment, all those good things. And then that all, um, well, I was going to say push us up to another milestone. Maybe they don't want that. No, exactly. <laughs> so just leave comments below. Any, any, suggest any more questions you have, please feel free to ask. Put it in the bottom. And like and subscribe, please. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Like. No, it's a like. thumbs up. Is it a thumbs up? Yeah. What's a heart for? Facebook. You love it. I don't know if there is a heart. No, it's a thumbs up. Oh, you can do a heart, yeah. <laughs> but on the videos, you do a thumbs up. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. Okay. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> and, and do the, Make a bell symbol. How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. till next time. Fun. And uh, I'm going to hopefully get this guy in front of the camera a lot more. So, ah. <laughs> <laughs>